Hmm, today I want to make a comparison. Comparison. Spelling is a very hard. Compare comparison. Uh, between aluminum electrode and graph graphene. <coughs> Let me see. Ah, first aluminum electrode. Uh, structure is like this: aluminum, aluminum, graphene, graphene, separator. Mm -hmm. uh, 2.1 volt Point one volt. Excellent. But uh, as you see here, mm -hmm. corrosion, corrosion is found. Hmm. I wonder what will happen when corrosion. Uh, uh, is progressed perfectly. Uh, let's wait. Uh, let's wait and observe the consequence. Uh, observe the consequence. Observe the consequence. A few days later. The reason I am writing is simple because I am a Korean. My pronunciation is not excellent, so I wanna make sure what I am saying. Uh huh. And then only graphene, no aluminum. Mm -hmm. 1.4 volt it was made maybe a week ago oh, really good look at look at this really thin really thin Uh, I think it, this battery has a great potential. <clears throat> Let me see. Graphene battery. Graphene. Graphene. Separator. Structure is really simple. For aluminum battery, we use aluminum, aluminum, graphene, graphene, separator. But graphene battery, graphene, graphene, separator. Really simple. Uh, voltage is, uh, uh, if we use aluminum, 2.1 volt is found. Graphene battery, 1.4 volt is found. Discharging rate, both of discharging rate. Is similar. It means 
the number of ions the number of ion is uh, no the amount of ion is similar Can you see? Ion is similar, but uh, in if we use aluminum, we cannot avoid corrosion. But because this is only graphene, there's no corrosion. Corrosion. Uh, corrosion is really important because it is closely related to the longevity. Longevity. T. Longe. Longe. Spelling is hard. But T. Of a battery. I think using metal using metal is uh, worse than using graphene. Maybe this can be a uh, capacitor or a supercapacitor. But it can be a battery too. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. From now on, I will not. I will not use aluminum. Bye bye. See you later.